Hey, hey, Aru. And it's so hot today. It's so hot where I live right now. It's like 40 degrees. Anyway, today's video is going to be a Yanfei showcase. Obviously, I'm not the guy you should be watching if you are looking for the biggest numbers, right? Because there are a lot of people out there already using 5-star weapons <laughs> and crazy artifact builds. I'm just here to show you a more in-depth guide on her attacks, on her skills, her constellations, what you should be taking, what you shouldn't be taking, all that jazz. Right, so right before I get started, full disclosure, she is level 80 because I am not done maxing her up yet to level 90 because I could not for the life of me farm for all of these and then wait and then end up having to release it right on Eula's banner because I also want to get Eula and make a level 90 showcase for her also. But she does pretty good damage at level 80 and look at that, look at her damage right there. Here's her stats, that's her crit rate at almost 60 and her crit damage at almost 180. Her energy recharge is pretty crap though. Next is her weapon. She has Widsit at R2, a pretty good weapon, the, the best weapon as a 4 star because of the high, high enough base of that and crit damage of course. And this one helps a lot especially if you get that elemental mastery boost. You can do almost 40k with that, with that, with that buff. And she's not evil level 90 yet. And I have not maxed anything apart from her charge, apart from her normal attack, right? So her normal attack is level 8. Here are the numbers, same as everything else. Her E at level 1 because that cooldown doesn't change. And her Q at level 1 because these do not change apart from the charge attack bonus. Next, her artifacts. I'm running full set, Wanderer's Troop, and this Noblesse hat because I have a really good pyro damage goblet. Starting from the flower, here's my stats. Then the feather, and then her sands of Eon. Then this one, or like I said, the goblet's pretty good. And her royal mask. It's a crit rate mask. There we go, next is her constellations. I got C1, that's good. It helps a lot with her charge attack. I'll explain these later. And there you go, that's my Yanfei. And now that I've showed you that. I'm going to tell you guys that this showcase isn't going to be for the highest numbers but this is going to be a showcase for her I guess more technical side you know how you should play her what you should do what you shouldn't do with Yanfei all that stuff but I'm gonna tell you guys how to play her not just what to build on her <laughs> if, you, if you guys understood that right so enough talking about Skyrim the anime Let's get on to her normal attack. Alright, so she has three normal attacks. One, three. And this is her charge attack. Okay, now the best combo is obviously one, two, three, then charge attack. What they don't tell you though is that her charge attack, in terms of numbers, is not so high compared to second and the third seal well it's higher when you have the fourth seal but we're not c6 so we, what we are going for is just the c this is the second seal something that is pretty weird is that it's very hard to do this charge attack compared to the three but i'll let you guys do whatever you want with that what i am telling you though is you have to be careful with her charge attacks because you might end up cancelling the first or the second seal by clicking too early on her charge attack. So the combo usually goes 1, 2, charge attack, 1, 2, 3, charge attack, or however you want, or whichever normal attack, attack string you want to go with. Next is her charge attack. This is her charge attack. I'm gonna keep spamming it to show you guys. Go. Something you can do is actually stop the stamp, stop the stamp, <laughs> stop her charge attack from actually falling down from either dodging or jumping or running out of stamina or <laughs> jumping. Stopping her charge attack will also consume stamina. There you go, see? 
Also eight stamina. Okay, it's gonna eat it's gonna keep eating stamina. So if you don't hit that charge attack, you're wasting stamina basically. But another thing that is very helpful is that you can cancel it when you don't want to drop the stamp right away. Like let's say your enemies are like right here and right there and then they run or move and cancel that and get closer. Put down your next charge attack. Okay, here. We have some Hilly Churls to show you guys for E. And there you go. Here is her E. There you go. When you press her E, you get some energy and you get these three seals on your character. Now, these seals last for 10 seconds and they get refreshed whenever you hit another enemy. You have three seals and you wait a bit, and more than 10 seconds, they're gonna disappear. There you go. But if you hit one, oops. So if you're running out of time and then let's say you're waiting, uh, this is almost 10 seconds. And you hit another one, they're gonna last longer. There you go, see? They're not disappearing right away. And they're still there. There you go. And here is her cancelling her charge attacks. Right, you can see you can cancel it right before it drops. There you go. And here's her charge attack again. Let's put her shield on. Right now her E, if you're comboing with the, with two normal attacks and then charging and then doing a charge attack, then using her E right after that combo, then charge attacking right away is a pretty good what a pretty good five second combo I guess. Say one two charge attack and E and another charge attack. It's a pretty good combo right off the bat, right? And I'd say that's the only combo that you should be doing when you're playing as Yanfei. That way, you're not wasting your E. Because your E, if you don't remember, gives you the maximum stack of Scarlet Seals. Now, if you don't want to waste those Scarlet Seals, you should use one charge attack first. And then press E again and get those charges back. And then you can charge it back again. Okay, let's get that stamina up, right? Okay, we have our stamina. Alright, now I'm going to explain to you guys her Q. Now, let's read what her Q does. Her Q triggers a spray of intense flame. So this is a very big, huge burst of damage. There you go, you can use that for Monas and Bennets and Sucrose. But what what's important about this skill is that it grants you the maximum number of seals and it also recharges a seal every set interval. Here, it grants you a scarlet seal every one second. And here's also <clears throat> here's a reason why you should level up done deal instead of E instead of sign edict is that it it increases your charge attack damage bonus there at level one it's at 33 percent and at level two it's at 35 percent it's gonna go higher and higher until you deal crap ton of damage of damage with your charge attacks right well let's see what it looks like there you get the maximum number of seals right away and when you use your charge attack it's gonna keep regenerating on its own there you go right there again there Charge attack again. Charge attack again. There you go. Now in this whole duration, you're gonna get about five charge attacks if you're quick. Okay, now that we have our ultimate back, <laughs> let us show you. Because hitting an enemy is very different from just letting it charge at set intervals, right? Put on our shield for this. Q. Okay, using a charge attack right away, we can have two attacks. Using our charge attacks, after you use a charge attack, you should only do two hits 
Ouch. You should, <laughs> you should only do two hits for your next charge attack because the one charge, because the one seal is going to be regenerated by your ultimate. Right. Next is her constellations. As far as constellations go, C1 is the only constellation that you are ever going to need because of this. When Yanfei uses her charge attack, each existing Scarlet Seal additionally reduces the stamina cost of this charge attack by 10%. So you have 30% reduced stamina consumption from her charge attacks. Another thing is that it also increases the resistance against interruption during its release. So when I told you guys that... Wait, I haven't told you guys. If you've seen from if you have Yanfei or if you've if you've seen some of the clips of my older video, is that Yanfei is really easy to interrupt when she's doing her charge attack. Where, where is it? It's down there. She's very easy to interrupt when she's doing her charge attacks. Right now, one one thing that can help the, that is of course using a shield character. Or getting her constellation one. Right, in my opinion, you only need constellation one. You don't need all these other constellations. But if you do, then that's fine and dandy. Then that's all good. <clears throat> her constellation two increases the face charge attack crit rate by twenty percent against enemies below fifty percent HP. This is pretty good. You can get more crit rate as long as their enemy is below 50% but I don't think you're going to need this because technically speaking if you're building Yanfei you're going to want to build her with 60% crit or more or at least 60 just so you can have relatively consistent charge attacks this helps if they're low on HP that means you can kill them quicker when they're low this one is just an extra 3 levels for her E this one, this is pretty good, <clears throat> but I don't think it's it's very worth it. I don't think it's worth it though. It gives you a shield that's equal to 45% of her max HP. So if you have 15%, you're gonna get about 70 or 65% or 65 or 66 6,000 HP from that shield, which I don't think is worth it at all. Because you have people like Noel, and you have people like Zhongli, and you also have Diona, who are shield characters that offer more consistent shielding than Yanfei. And this shield only works whenever she uses her Q, and her Q is pretty hard to charge because of this energy cost, which is so high. It's basically Beidou's ult, and you know how hard Beidou's ult is to charge. Next is Constellation 5, it gives extra for done deal. This is pretty good because an extra 3 levels on Q is an extra 3 levels for your charge attack damage bonus, which is, yeah, pretty good. If you're going to get Constellations, you might as well rush all the way to Constellation 6 if you're gonna main, if you're gonna main Yanfei. <clears throat> if you have different pyro characters like what, Hu Tao or d Look or Li, eh, eh, pretty good. But if you're gonna play Yanfei, you might as, if you're gonna get Constellations for Yanfei, you might as well go all the way to C6. Because C6 increases her Scarlet Seals by one so you now have four scarlet seals now what does having four scarlet seals mean four scarlet seals mean you get the maximum damage for your charge attack which is a good chunk of 221 percent damage at level eight which is almost as high as hu tao's charge attack damage at level 10. there you go see it's almost up there with Hu Tao's charge attack. With the difference being, Hu Tao's charge attack is much quicker because she can spam it when she is in butterfly mode. While Yanfei has to charge up four 
of those Scarlet Seals, but using Done Deal increases that by 30%. So right now, just by using Done Deal, you're already higher than Hu Tao at level 1. Hu Tao's charge attack is at a maximum of 242 at level 10, but Yan Fei is at 221 plus 30% from her Q. That is a good 250%, but my Q is only at level 1. Okay, keep in mind that I haven't leveled her Q yet, not even once. <clears throat> so that is going to go very high. It beats Hu Tao's damage. But in exchange, Yan Fei takes longer to charge. Unless you have her Q. And Hu Tao basically keeps on using her charge attack as long as you are in butterfly mode. Now, another thing for this constellation is that C1 works in conjunction with C6. Because if you because like I told you before, each scarlet seal reduces stamina cost by 10%. That's a total of 40%, which is almost half. <clears throat> almost half already just from C1. Now her her normal attack, something I didn't tell you guys a while ago, is that her normal attack, it gives her less stamina consumption the more Scarlet Seals she has. Each Scarlet Seal will decrease stamina consumption and will disappear when she leaves the field. So the amount of stamina decrease of each Scarlet Seal is 15% per seal. Now, if you have three Scarlet Seals, you are already at 45%. Now, if you have a fourth one, you're going to get 60% plus your Constellation 6, which is 40%. You basically have unlimited charge attack as long as you have four Seals. Now, this helps a lot because after you get C6, Yanfei is going to play uh, relatively different because after you use your Q, you're going to want to keep her at 4 seals all the time because that keeps her from using up stamina from charge attacks and it also gives you more stamina for dodging and jumping away from the one hit combos that are going to kill her in one hit. Okay, there you go. Constellations. So if you have Yanfei, get her C1 and slowly make your way to C5 and then make sure that you get C6 but it's already worth it if you have C1 because if you don't have C6 then <clears throat> you won't be needing it too much because you have 30% plus another 45% that's a good 75% of reduced stamina consumption from her charge attacks <clears throat> which means you can dodge pretty easily compared to Hu Tao who uses all her stamina from charge attacks especially if you don't have c1 next is her equipment i've tested her weapons and from all my experimenting with the only weapons that i have the best comparable weapons are going to be with seth mapa mare and sacrificial fragments because i do not have sacrificial fragments right now but if we're listing them in order the best weapon is going to be with seth and right next to it on that same level is going to be sacrificial fragments because of the elemental mastery and also because of that passive right because that passive means that you get the maximum scarlet seals every time you use your e that means you can use your e twice that means you can charge attack with maximum seals twice also which makes her damage very high instead of waiting another three seconds just to get another charge attack. Mapa Mare is, I would say, under those two. But with Sith and Sacrificial Fragments are neck and neck at each other. If you don't have those two weapons, use Mapa Mare because it's going to be better than Pavonius Codex or all these other weapons. I'll be showing you guys some numbers regarding the difference between Mapa Mare and with Sith. The damage of with Sith is going to fluctuate because of the different buffs that it gives. Here are all the buffs. She's going to have either extra attack, extra elemental damage, or extra elemental mastery. Now what you're going to be aiming for with Widsith is that 300 elemental mastery. Because she is going to be proccing vape 
and melt pretty much constantly because of how her charge attacks work. And then Mapa Mare, eh, pretty good, pretty good damage. But if I were going to compare the two, Mapa Mare wins because of its consistency, and with Sith wins because of that extra damage. But it won't be as consistent as Mapa Mare. But if you do get that elemental mastery bonus you're gonna have a big chunk of damage next is going to be her artifacts now there are two artifact sets that i've tested which is wondrous troop and crimson witch of flames i have the two sets complete because of hu tao and ganyu so i have a complete wanderer set and a complete crimson witch set for we're comparing the which we're comparing which one is better. In my opinion, Crimson Witch is easier to get and Wanderer's Troop has higher damage. That damage isn't really that high compared to Crimson Witch. But if you want more damage, uh, go for Wanderer's Troop and if you're just looking for a good set, a good overall set, then Crimson Witch is, Witch is just fine. I'd prefer Crimson Witch over Wanderer's just because of that melt damage. I can swap it to my other pyro characters. Characters. Hmm. Alright, so moving on. We'll be talking about team comps next. Now for continuous melt applications and charge attack spamming, I'd suggest... Why do I keep saying that? <clears throat> Yanfei with Xing Chou, as well as either a healer or a shielder, works very well as long as you have Xing Chou with you. She's basically Hu Tao at this point, but, <laughs> but she's just range. Next is is melt now Kea, as far as i know is the best applier compared to all the others here we have diona and rosaria or, or ganyu even but Kea has the most consistent application of cryo because each crystal is gonna hit and it's going to keep hitting like for quick intervals very constantly so it won't swap around as long as you keep hitting your charge attack right after the first cryo application of Kea. Again, any healer or shielder will do. If you have both, like Noel or Ganyu, there you go, you have more crit. If you're gonna play Yanfei as a burst bot, or like if you want those big numbers, then Yanfei with Sucrose, Bennett, and Mona for Vaporize. And then Yanfei with Diona, Bennett, and Sucrose for Melt. Yeah, there's no other cryo characters that I can use. Well, you, have, you can have Rosaria. But why I think Diona is a good pick is because of her constellation, right? If you have Diona at constellation 6, whenever she uses her ultimate, her Q, signature mix, there you go. Anyone who's inside that are going to get more healing, that's great. But what's better is that they're going to get a 200% elemental mastery increase whenever their HP is above 50%. If you pair that, with Widsith and you get lucky from getting the interlude elemental mastery increase you're going to get a bump of 500 maximum elemental mastery and this is from Widsith R2 and I'm just lucky that I got R2 if you have R5 then that is going to be so much higher and you can use your Q like Hu Tao's Q and you're gonna have a lot of charge attack spamming in about 10 seconds and within those seconds your, your enemies are gonna be pretty much dead at that point point. and if you have Mona that's pretty great also if you don't have Mona you can use Xing Cho just for the application and I'd say everyone has Sucrose and Bennett already so if you have Xing Cho then use her f use her <laughs> use him for cryo applicate for hydro application and if you have Mona, all the better, just because of that burst. You can have you can have a healer and shielder like Noel and Diona, and then have Sucrose with you, right? Or maybe even Bennett. There you go. You have your melt. You have your melt comp for charge attack. The same goes for your hydro. If you have both healer and shielder, you can remove one slot and give it to a Bennett. There you go. Right, so overall thoughts for a level 80 Yanfei. She's a very fun unit to play with. Charge attack is very satisfying. And more cons more constellations makes it even more satisfying because you can spam the charge attacks. Very unique character and personality. Yeah, she's really smart. She's she's a lawyer and all that. Very cunning, very sly. As all lawyers are. Great story quest. I felt like I was watching 
Detective Conan or something, or what's that other anime, but with actual voice lines. Very good charge attack, very unique charge attack actually. Her third attack was a spike, it looked like volleyball. Reminded me of when I was playing in high school, yeah. Damage numbers are pretty good for a 4 star weapon. She has very good damage, very comparable to a 5 star, like, like Hu Tao. I compare her charge attack with Hu Tao. She's very right up there. If you're looking for another pyro DPS for your teams, Yanfei is really good. Like if you have a D look or a Klee on one team, you can put Yanfei there. Just make sure to farm the right artifacts and the right artifact stats before you do it. As well as making sure that you have her support units to keep her from dying. But she is very squishy. You can see her health. She's almost dead. <laughs> She's almost dead. She only has 2k left. Because of my testing. Yeah, and that's gonna be my showcase for Yan Fei. If you like the video, uh, drop a like. If you don't like it, then drop a dislike and comment down below what you think of Yan Fei. Um, well, not as, not as a DPS, but as a character, right? But you can't do that. Tell me how bad this character is. Right, and click on the subscribe button and help me grow this little channel of mine. Right, that's gonna be the video. Right, bye!